Well, well, all right. Welcome to another session of Peak Performance Secrets. My name is Kamoya Benjamin, and I identify as a peak performance coach. What does that mean? It means that I help individuals and teams to create more, whatever more represents. And that conversation is always about deploying ourselves at the optimum mindset and the optimum skill set in order to create whatever outcomes we know are possible for us. And I shoot these videos as lunch and lunch sessions short. You're going to have food either way and a time for learning and growth and development to really keep advancing and tuning into the mindset and the skill set that's required to create what you want. Today, I'm talking about a topic that absolutely is close to my heart, and that's discipline. Discipline. And I'll be exploring with you very quickly the drivers for why we do what we do. If you think of yourself as a disciplined person, what makes you disciplined? What is your reason for being disciplined? What is your reason for the choices that you make at the time that you make them? Have you ever explored that? And in my observation and reading some of the literature and material on discipline and also in my own journey, observing why I am disciplined at certain points and not in other moments, what the cause for that is, I've uncovered a couple of levels of discipline. Let me give you an example. The first one here that I want us to look at, the first one that I want us to look at is when we are disciplined by, we're disciplined because the discipline, how we show up is determined by what others think. If you think about discipline, when would you know that someone is disciplined? Someone is disciplined because you know the outcome that is required at a particular point and they consistently show up in a way that rhymes with the outcome that is required. In other words, if I'm supposed to get into a fitness regimen and I have a soda and a milkshake and a, a, you know, a mixture of kale, a protein shake or something, and I'm supposed to take the protein shake and I don't take the milkshake or the soda, and you can see me consistently taking the right decisions, then you can say that I'm a disciplined person, right? You can say, wow, that guy is focused. Benjamin is so disciplined. He is presented with options that are tempting and enticing, but he always chooses the right thing. If it's punctuality, Benjamin is always on time for meetings. Benjamin is always showing up at the time where he's expected to be. You never have to follow up on that guy to get the thing that you want done. Wow, I love that. He's so disciplined. When he says he's going to do something, he's actually going to be there on the time and the day and he's going to make it happen. Now, the question that I ask myself is, and I look at this in my own journey to come up with the content that I'm sharing with you about the three levels. What causes people to do what they do? And the lowest level that I saw, again, I'm not saying that any of these three levels is wrong. It's just to become aware and really to kind of seek to get to a better level. The lowest level is we are disciplined because our value, our self-worth is determined by what others think. Our behavior is determined by what others think. Let me give you an example. Have you seen people who show up on time for interviews, they show up on time at work, but they are always late to go to church. They are always late to show up for their own engagements. They negotiate with life about their goals, their dreams, their plans. If someone says, okay, let's meet tomorrow at nine o'clock, where? We'll meet at the Junction Mall and let's meet at this particular restaurant. This person is going to do everything that they can to show up there early and on time. Why? Because I don't want my colleague, this person who invited me, to think I'm a late karma and I don't show up for meetings on time. So I show up early. So you're showing up there because you are more concerned about what other people will think. Benjamin will say I'm not punctual. Benjamin will say I'm not serious. Benjamin will say I don't respect him. So in order for that not to happen, let me show up on time. I don't want to be embarrassed. I don't want to feel shame. I don't want people to think that I'm this person. And so I do everything. My behavior at that particular moment, my choices at that particular moment are determined by what other people will say, other people will think, what other people will make of me. And because I don't want that, I show up to make things happen. So on the outside, it might appear as though I'm disciplined. 
Even to myself, I'm just like, you know what? I never, I'm never late for meetings. I show up early on on time. But it's not because I am. It's because someone else is guiding. Someone else is influencing how exactly I'm showing up. It all come together in a minute. Let's look at the second one. The second one is where our behavior is determined by what we want to have. It's determined by what you want to have. And in other words, I always talk about you've got a destination. You've got a place called there. I want to have a certain income. I want to have a certain income. And so I'll show up as much as I can in order for me to do what is required because I must get the thing that I want. And so I'm only showing up disciplined because I want that outcome. Because I want that outcome, I'm going to show up disciplined. Men have been accused of this. That when uh, they are in the dating scene, they may approach the conversations that lead to a marriage with this beautiful lady like a project. And so they show up committed in everything that is required in order to get this lady to say, yes, I do. But as soon as they put the ring on that finger, they say, the lady say the man has changed. He's no longer the same guy he used to be. What happened? He got what he wanted. I was showing up this way because I wanted that. I was showing up this way because I wanted that. But is that who I am? No, that's not who I am. That's not what I, that's, that, those are not choices I would make. I only made those choices because this is what I want. And this is the second level as far as discipline is concerned. There are people who are disciplined. And I'm getting, what is, what is discipline? Discipline comes from the word disciple. A disciple is a follower. A disciple is a follower of an idea, of a truth, of, a, of an outcome, of a reality. Discipline. Again, based on my Benta's definition, which I absolutely love, is discipline is giving yourself a command, a command to go in that direction and get that thing and make it happen. Bring it into, you know, an equivalent reality in your life. Boom. And so we show up because we are determined to have something. Now, these are levels of discipline. And the way I look at them is that they shift. They shift. Because if I'm doing something based on what I want others to think, when I don't have someone to, to question me, someone to judge me, someone to interrogate me, I behave differently. This one is I'm my behavior is determined by what I want to have. And the moment I have that thing, I'm no longer interested. I'm no longer interested. I'm, I'm just like, I got it. No, I, I don't need to show up. I don't need to wake up early anymore. I don't know whether you can remember this, you know, in school, trying to score a high grade, an A. What time would you wake up? You'd wake up at 4 a.m. Dip your toes inside cold water in a basin. You do all it takes to study for that exam, hand in those assignments on time, and make sure that you do all that's required. Do you love it? No. Is it even something that you're like, you know, I'm trying to become this person? No. You're just doing it because you want the thing. You want the outcome. And as soon as you get the outcome, go back to your old habits. You Go back to the old you. And recognizing this is helpful so that you know, wh where am I operating from? How come I never seem to learn? How long have I done this? And yet I don't seem to see a difference in my life. The question is, why are you doing it? What's the driver behind your behavior? Is it because others are watching? Is it because you're looking to get a certain outcome? Or is it, look at the third one, because that's who you are. Oh, I love this one. You are that person. You become the person who does that. So I'm punctual during my exams. I'm punctual for my dates. I'm punctual for everything that I do. Because guess what? Being punctual is who I am. 
I am disciplined because that's who I am. I'm not going to show up on time because you asked me to show up on time. I show up on time because I am, I have become the person who honors their commitments. You don't need to chase me. You don't need to tell me, sign something here. If I say it, I'm going to do it, my word is my bond, I'll make it happen. This is the highest level of self-discipline. This is mastery at its core. In the fifth level of the seven levels of awareness, I am, and that's why I do. I am, that's why I do. Now, very quickly, is there a difference between these three? Watch, watch this difference. When your behavior is determined by what others think, do you know what your driver is? Your core driver here is fear. What if they think? What if they know? What if? What if? What if? And so avoiding that, the fear, you avoid something. So you show up because you don't want them to think a certain way of you. The second one here is you are driven by passion. You're driven by passion. Hey, guess what? I'm going to have this. I just need to show up in a certain way until I get it. Haven't you seen what competitions cause people to do? They train hard. They put effort. They put time in the gym. They train hard. If they lose, they'll never be in that gym again. If they don't get the outcome, they'll never be interested anymore. They were only doing it for the outcome. They were only doing it for the passion. They were only doing it. Okay, it's a driver. Great. I love it. But my encouragement for us is to get to this place where it's driven by purpose. I need to get a green over here. Purpose. This is why. Because I want to become the who. I want to become the who. I want to become that person. I want to become that person. If you think about this in the context of any area of your life, whether it's faith, fitness, finances, family, fulfilling work, each of these applies so powerfully. If I could just bring it into the family setup, you, you don't become that kind of a father because you're afraid of what will happen when people see you. You don't treat your children kindly in public just so that other people see you, that's the lowest level. Although you're choosing a better option, that's not who you are. At the core, you are this other person. I don't want to describe that. You're this other person. And you're only doing this because of what people will think, because you're in a public space. The second level, if you are a husband, and we're talking about this, you're a husband, you're a father. You know, you just show up in a certain way because you want to have a certain outcome. You want to have, uh, you know, a, 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 a family that is intact. You don't want divorce. So you just want to have a family that's intact. And that's something, and that's a great passion. And hey, way to go, great stuff. But what if you just do it because that's who you are? That's who you have become. It doesn't matter what people do. You will do who you are. And this is the place where Christ invites us, invites us to, 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 be, to, be, to, be, to be of great character. To be of great character. So that we are faithful. Because he's called us to perfection. He's called us to perfection. And he is perfecting us. To be faithful even when others are not faithful. To be punctual even when others are not punctual. To be kind even when others are unkind. This is the highest level where you are disciplined and you do what is required because you already are. And what does, mean, what does it mean becoming? It means your beliefs, your values, your assumptions, your meaning-making system is already, already concrete. And you've got self-mastery. And you show up because that's who you are at the core. Not because people will think, not because you're interested in some outcome. That when it's withdrawn, you become a different person. It's consistent at that third level. And it's the highest level.
this is something that I'm still developing. I think it's going to be some great content. Um, I'm going to put it into something. I'll, fi I'll find names for each three, each of these three levels. But I hope that you enjoyed today's teaching. Which level are you operating from? I'm not demonizing any of the levels. It's just awareness. Which level are you operating from? And what awareness is driving that? What beliefs are driving that? And what could you do to shift to the next level based on the three levels that I've talked about? I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment in the video below and let me know what you picked out today. What's that one idea that has really made so much sense for you? Do let me know kindly, kindly. Right. And let me know what's serving you so that even as I create this, I can build up on some of the ideas. What questions do you have? Let me know. Let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's session as we talk about the three levels of discipline and the drivers behind each one of them. Appreciate you for your time. Blessings. Be well and bye for now. Bye-bye.